So Abu is here at Office Hours with me, and we are going to discuss how to uh, syndicate open listings on Nestio, open rental listings. So the first step is to log into Nestio, go to the search screen. Um, you can uh, make sure you're on rentals, and when you search, uh, make sure you you know if you if you're looking for a specific client or if you're looking for um, you know something in your location. Uh, you can always search and make the filters here. Um, if you are interested in just posting open listings of landlord buildings, you can do that uh, as well. The important thing to remember for rentals is uh, that you can, unlike sales, uh, where everything is exclusively listed by one broker, uh, in rentals it is more of a wild west. Um, there will be exclusives listed by other brokers uh, as well, and if that is the case, you can't just you know also post their listing. However, uh, in rentals, there are lots of big uh, landlord-only buildings where essentially um, a tower of say 100 units is owned by one uh, landlord, and he is uh, he or she or the company is renting all of those units out. In which case, these landlord quote unquote buildings, um, they often don't care if you uh, syndicate the listings or if there's 50 brokers that are syndicating the same. Um, listing out. It doesn't matter. And in fact, uh, they oftentimes will offer incentives so uh, you can make money even if it is advertised as a no-fee listing. So let's take a quick look through a few of these examples first. Um, you see this one is pretty high priced. It says collect CYOF. That means collect your own fee. Um, that simply means that the landlord or the listing agent, uh, no one is offering any commission to uh, to the tenant side. So if you're to essentially us in this case, um, so you know if you are working with a tenant and you're showing lots of properties, hopefully this tenant will appreciate it, um, and you should of course protect yourself with a rental showing agreement um, that they are open to paying us say 15% or whatever is agreed upon. Uh, commission. 15% of one uh, year's rent is, is fairly standard. If you happen to be looking for a client and you see something like this co-broke, so this means it's listed by another broker, it's an exclusive, we can't just post that, um, but if you are working with a specific uh, tenant and you're looking for something, uh, this means though actually, if you click on here co-broke, it's just like a sale listing. They will actually offer, so this is a 15% standard commission, they'll offer half of it, it says right here what's offered to us, 7.5% to us. If you go down here, you'll see a few that list incentives, uh, owner pays, owner pays, let's take a look. So this is an example, um, I'm fairly certain it is, of a landlord company. So in this case, they, you know, they don't care uh, however many brokers listed or not, um, and they're offering incentives as well. So it says owner pays, uh, one month owner pays, one month free. So this is, this is quite good. This means that uh, you can offer tenants uh, one month free and they'll also pay you one month um, of, uh, of rent, which is quite reasonable. They already have photos as well and a description so for something like this, um, I highly recommend actually visiting these uh, listings or being, becoming familiar with uh, rental buildings in a specific area. Perhaps it's where you live so you can become really familiar. Um, I would recommend going in there. They may require you to drop off your license for security um, to even get a copy of keys. But you know, view the units. Sometimes they'll have different finishes. So go in there and take your own photos. Per, you know, uh, uh, hopefully with professional, uh, you know, with a, with an SLR or professional, some sort of professional photos, and uh, write your own description as well, just to switch it up. Um, because if you simply repost this, uh, it'll look identical to what the landlord is already posting, and I'm sure many other brokers. So you want to at least switch it up to make it look different. Uh, you you do want to remember to go in here, uh, even if you are not changing it up, you do want to. You know, go in here. You would put in your own photos, ideally. Um, you know, you would mix it up so it looks different from other other people's, and uh, you would want to write your own description, ideally. Uh, then save listing, and then once that is saved, 
you can go back in here and you can actually just uh, syndicate the listing. So in this case, um, there should be a syndicate listing button here. It's not available for some reason for this one, so perhaps it's not a pure landlord uh, listing. But what you can do is, to make your life easier if you are intent on only posting open listings, uh, you can go to all filters, go to show open listings only. So these are uh, Nestio verified landlord listings excluding code rogues. That's what you want. So hit apply. And then there are tons of opportunities for you to make money. So these are all various landlords. Some of them you've heard before, like equity residential. Um, you go in here, you can see what's being offered. Uh, sometimes they're a bit vague about it, but even if they're a bit vague, you can almost just by default assume that it's a collect your own fee. Um, these guys happen to have some photos. So again, you can you know, perhaps move these around a bit. Um, to make them more optimal, or ideally, again, put your own photos in here. Um, they didn't even bother, again, these landlords didn't even bother to write a description, so you put something uh, in here, let's just say, uh, perfect studio for under 2200 a month, contact us. You know, obviously it would be a, this is just an example, you would write a paragraph or more, first paragraph should be about the unit, second paragraph should be about the building. Uh, you save it, and then, you can actually syndicate this listing. So the, the beauty about rentals, again, it is more of a wild west. There are these landlord buildings, very specific to rentals only, where you can syndicate them as an open listing. You don't need an agreement, uh, unlike sales, where you need an exclusive listing agreement to post anything and only one broker can do it. And rentals, uh, 50 brokers can be posting different variations of this landlord um, apartment. So you syndicate the listing. Uh, these are the sites that Nestio syndicates directly to. Uh, you can select fee or no fee. It depends on the incentives. Um, keep in mind that uh, if you, you know, it may present some conflicts if you select fee and then the landlord is posting it on a public site like Street Easy for no fee. So it's up to you. Um, obviously, if the landlord is offering some incentive uh, like one month owner pays, then you could probably even select no fee as well and have it be more attractive. So anyway, it's up to you. These are the places that it syndicates to. Uh, a few of these sites, I believe, like uh, Naked Apartments, um, they will ask you to create an account with them uh, or even a paid account. So that is something you may have to set up on your end. And then when you're done, hit syndicate. Your listing will go to all, the, all of these places and, uh, and more, in fact, because ours is connected through the RLS syndication channel uh, as well as List Hub. So it goes to hundreds of sites, actually, uh, under your name and interested tenants would contact you directly. And uh, once they contact you, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's up to you to take it from there. You can show, obviously show them that specific property, but I would recommend lining up multiple other available properties that are in the area. You can take them on a tour and uh, remember to have your rental showing agreements. It's a very simple one page form saying they'll agree to you know, pay you uh, and these are the properties you've seen today to protect yourself. And that's it, it's very straightforward. Thank you so much. One last thing, you should uh, certainly Google the address as well before posting it just to see what the landlord uh, themselves are posting it as on sites such as StreetEasy. Um, so if you click on this one, this is the listing we are considering syndicating. It's very interesting. Uh, they didn't even bother to post it on StreetEasy. Now, normally with some landlords who might be aggressive, they would spend the $3 a day or whatever the fee it is for StreetEasy uh, these days to post it themselves directly to the landlord. I would typically say no fee. Um, so then you would have to be cognizant of that when you post it. If you post it as a, as a fee and they, they're posting it directly as a no fee, um, it could cause issues. So uh, obviously the easy solution to that is you would also post as a no fee um, but uh, the owner would be paying one month rent or some other incentive. If the owner is not offering any incentive, but it's still an open listing that you can post, uh, well, then you're going to have to work around it. You're, you're going to have to um, you know, post it as a, 
you know, as a, as a, if you post it as a fee, hopefully you can talk the buyer into paying us something because you're helping them not just look at this, but showing them other places as well. And it's a standard uh, broker commission. So you'll have to work into it. That, that becomes more difficult. In this case, the landlord didn't bother to even list it themselves on Street Easy because they figure a bunch of brokers are going to be doing it, um, which actually makes it very interesting for us because you could yourself um, to, pit, to get the leads, pay $3 a day and post it on Street Easy and all of these sites yourself. Um, and because no, you know, they are not posting it or various other sites and you could post it as a fee listing, no fee depending. In this situation, because the landlord's not specifically offering anything, you would post it as a fee listing and uh, people would contact you and you would ask to collect a standard broker's fee. So just going back in this example, I've taken the time to reorder the photos with photos of the apartment first, followed by uh, photos of the outdoor areas, parts of the city. Uh, I've taken time to write a uh, custom listing description. I've leveraged off of you know, previous info I found online about the property without plagiarizing, of course. You want to rewrite it, and then you save the listing, and then you syndicate it.